and hello ladies and gentlemen, Forsera here and welcome back to Tell Me Why, where we just found a key under the silenced frog. Whatever good that was. But we had a memory together and we found out that um, we hit the key underneath there. So time to go into the barn. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. <laughs> Plenty else to do first. That's true. Let's get into the house. <clears throat> I don't know if it's the key for Not this Not getting side. in this way. Oh. There are other ways inside. Yeah, I know. Come on. Is there a way I can run faster? No. Doesn't look that way. So, is the key for the back? Apparently not. What was the key for? Hmm. So, the key was for this side then? Apparently. There we go. Oh yeah, we had to take a, pick up a screwdriver. Um, do we take what's this? Huh? Birdsey. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Got it. Apparently. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? I don't think she has. Anyway, let's continue on. Because we had to. Get rid of a few planks here. Let's do it. There's still two screws. Would have been easier if you took the screws out. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Okay. Who knows what lives down there now? Rats. Lots of rats. Like, this is the, the prequel to uh, Plague Tale. <laughs> Everything okay down there? <laughs> Tyler? <laughs> oh, that's not funny! So predictable. <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. <laughs> All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Okay. Hmm. Not much space here. Let's crouch and crouch. Ouch. Ow. Are you okay? What happened? <sighs> I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. Well. Wait. Where are you? Ty. I'm outside, but I can hear you in my head. Our voice, it's back. Holy shit. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Then left again after the goblins. Wow, can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. Damn. Okay. Is something still here? <laughs> After all those years. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Wait. That was our treasure? It Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. Pink. It always had to be pink. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. <laughs> nice. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. 
Beware the mad hunter. Okay, so there's an opening. Wait, I could have gone there. Okay. It's a chore, but I'll go back. And uh, see if I can uh, see what that's what that is. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. Ooh. Weird. Wooden ball. New collectible. I see it. Collectible. The Mad Hunter. The Mad Hunter is a cruel and ruthless creature. Once he starts hunting someone, he never stops. He'll chase his prey to the ends of the earth if he needs to. No one can escape his piercing eye. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. Okay. So, now we go around again. We are... We are the crafty goblins. Yes, we are. Goblin and treasure. Okay. Nice childhood memories. You know that time when you could still just walk around here, standing. <laughs> This is a bit weird. Everything still... It looks like it's been lived in. Wake up, buddy. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Come on. Well, we're here. Certainly are. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Well, that's good. sounds fine by me. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hogs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. <laughs> yeah, nice. Machine repair. Texas for winter, too expensive. That's a question mark. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, this place needs some serious cleaning. 
or an exorcist. <laughs> we should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Are these authentic, Clinkett? I doubt it. I'm surprised Marianne would buy fakes. 20 years ago, everyone was buying fakes. Hmm. Okay, so that's upstairs. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. A good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. Oh, hey. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. Damn. Handmade soap. Still here after ten years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. <laughs> That's true. There are so many times I looked in this mirror hoping somehow it'd show me something different. Well, okay. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'll leave that room. No, I'll do this room. Marianne's oh. room. Let's oh. not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. Good idea. What's this? Can I read it? Hold on. Oops. She pinched every penny. Hmm? Oh, Lord. Hey mom, we're sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you loved it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we will try and use good judgment. Please forgive us for the bad things. I'm sorry too. We should be careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do it anymore. We are sorry. Huh? What are you reading? Old textbooks. Oh. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah. She thought we were gifted. <laughs> we were. Just not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. Oh, that's true. Okay, so let's do this again, see if I can get that option to return again. Okay. I read. Leave. Can I get this option again? Hmm. I missed something. Because I was too quick. What's this? I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. Oops. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that describes... <laughs> that really makes sense. I... okay. Look. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these at my keep. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. Well, and she was uh, far ahead of her time. It made her happy. And it was kind of nice to see her smile. I guess. You okay? All these happy pictures. They look so sad now. So staged. I know. Hmm. Wait, here. 
Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Oh. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? <laughs> nah. I guess she was right about one thing. You can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a good joke. Did Al Gore ever made anything cool? I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. Big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. <laughs> I would like to have something like that. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Becky store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. That's how things work. Hmm. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. <laughs> Okay. Well, she, you can say about their mother what you want, but they, she wasn't environmentally friendly. Whatever, or whatever that's worth. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Well, there are some Allen keys, wire. This is a, a knife, screwdrivers. Oh! I was looking so hard at this that I forgot that I had an option. Ah, crap. I'm gonna miss Best those things mom. so much. You think we ever really believed that? Or were we just trying nope. to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. That's a quick judgment. Hmm. You know, all of this is still here, apparently. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? Uh, well... <laughs> yep, that's gonna do it. Uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> Oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. Oh. Oh. Not really time. I mean, we can wait. We have all the time in the world. Where'd you come from? Tales of... Tale, a tale of two sorts. Almost looks like a game that you could make right now. Okay, so is there anything else here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, no. And you're here as well. That's good. Uh, well, get out. I get out my way. <laughs> what was that? Go. <laughs> Come on. Get into the, the bedroom. Come on. Ooh. Now this... This feels like home. Can I say anything?
Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. That's sad. Hello, Allison and Ollie. We are writing from the past. What it? What is it like in the future? Anyway, Juno is super cool. We took a tramway all the way up. Ollie was scared. Scared. Liar. <laughs> Wait, are they talking in the same? Ma <laughs> okay. We got some books, but Mommy went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. It was cool. There were a lot of whales on the ferry. No, there wasn't. They were in the water. <laughs> anyway, here's a postcard to remind you how awesome we are. Especially me. And you know, Allison and Ollie, Ronan, 12 Cannery Road, Dallas Crossing, AK774. <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> Writing a letter with S twins and both Wow Look how small these beds are. We were so little. Yeah. Nice one. <clears throat> that. Oh, is that the uh snake fish game? Hey you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh, this one wasn't mine. We never mine. appreciated this view as kids. Look, it's the game we made. Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Oh, that's true. Kids can uh, have fun with anything. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. Too group thinky. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. <laughs> you should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. <sighs> I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. Look what I found! What? Our Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was- All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. The frog earns the right to speak, the bear and the princess, the beaver fixes the house, the princess party, the goblins and the ice cave, the princess and the two thieves, the princess makes new friends, the bear's big paws, big paws. The moon hag loses her name, the goblin trick, the mad hunter. The pelican helps her friends. Goblins earn their voice, the big frog punished. The goblins save the old beaver, the goblins irritate the ice king. The pelican forgives the goblin, the goblin meets the ice troll, the goblin tricks the musket. The moose teaches the goblin, the, hun the mad hunter gets his hand back. Wait, and I can write all- can look up all these? Oh, shit, they- oh lordy Lou, I'm not gonna read through all this, I'm- even on my own I wouldn't have done that. Uh, jeez. That's way too much. Though I do guess there's a lot behind all these stories. But holy moly. Oh, that's a lot. Ah, where is it? There's You're what? looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah, but the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Oh lord. Is that why? Oh, that sucks. Mom? Mom! No wonder that she flipped out. This is gonna be brutal. Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? 
I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. Brutal as I thought, I don't but know I... How I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning. Wow. Okay, that's brutal. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? <laughs> that diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Jeez. Well, then let's go find it. I mean, you think her room is still locked? It always was. A difference in I'm opinion is okay, but this? There. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Wait. finally caught the hag, his furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Hmm. These kids have fun. Or at least they tried to have fun with, uh, with each other. In, in this bad situation. Hold up. Huh? What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Okay. Yep. Hand it over. Okay, okay. So... What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. Well, okay. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Okay. Okay, so... Something with the princess? The bear and the princess? The... There it is, the princess's party. Uh, once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was 
melancholy because it was the one year anniversary of when she had run away from home. Sensing her sadness, her friends showed up at the door. They were headed by the pelican, bias and attentive, and organized by the moose, stalwart and farsighted. The old bear was there with his claws, so sharp as well as the big frog. Even the haughty musket almost never had time for anyone. The bear invited her to ride on his back, promising no wolf would hurry her path. And then the animals led her to a fairy gun where the fabulous party had been prepared. Um, there was a buffet of seafood the pelican had served from her never emptying beak. The air, air was filled with winking fairy lights the moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky, and the gregarious frog mixed the fizzing drinks. Only the musk muskrat had done nothing in particular, mooching off everyone everyone else's hard work. Okay, so what was the going on here? Um, Okay, so I probably don't know yet what's going on. The princess had a very good time at the party, such a good time that she forgot to say thanks, thank you to any of her friends. Noticing this, the fairy devised a bit of mischief. When the princess went, went to open the, her gifts, she found three identical boxes at the edge of the glen. Puzzled, she turned back and gasped. The entire party had vanished. Because you have taken your friends for granted, called the Nali Fairies, we have hidden them from you. But we like games. Guess who has given you each of the presents and you'll get your friends back. The princess opened the first box. Inside was a torch, which when lit, revealed the truth. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark and that I always see, see right from, from wrong. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? He opened the second box inside. There was a magic sword, which would leap right out of the bearer's hands to defend them. Hmm, so there is someone wants to make sure I'm, I'm protected if I'm ever under a threat. Which of my friends would give, give me a gift like that? She opens up the third box. Inside there was a bag of coins that was provided, was always, huh? that always provided money if it was for something the bearer truly needed. Hmm, someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I'm hungry and clothes when I'm cold. Which one of my friends would give me that? Something like that. The princess thought about her friends and then she smiled. Certainly fairies, said. she said. I may have been thoughtless, but I appreciate all of my friends have given. I, just, I appreciate all that my friends have given to me and all that they have done for me. She gave her answer. Gave her answers and vexed fairies were forced and were forced to restore the party in a flash. One by one she gave the animals a hug and thanked them for the presence. The party and all they had done to help since she'd moved in the forest. Okay. So... Um... Hold on. The... Someone wanted me, my friends would give. Princess thought about her friends and smiles. Fairies. I may have been thoughtless, but I appreciate all of my friends. Oh, okay, so it doesn't state what it, uh, who it was. But, um, the pelican boys attempted to organize the moose, stalwart and far side. So the, probably the moose is the first one, because it's a stalwart and far side. The bear is probably the sword, so she can protect herself. And the coins. Probably the frog. So moose, bear, frog. Okay, so let's see moose. 
bear. Rock? Is that it? Are you sure you're gonna be able to crack it? I don't know. I am not stupid, okay? I'll be fine. I'm not stupid, you know. Sorry, sorry. Forgot <laughs> I was talking to a puzzle master. No, you're not. I'm very bad at puzzles. I don't know. It's... I guess... Oh, wait. A torch, sword, and money? Who would give me... Wait, or would it be... I... Uh... Wait, the moose could have done the torch because he get the fire the flies to fill the sky. Um I don't know how how do you get that from this? I would say the moose, the old bear was there with his claws so sharp. So you would say sharp uh and say that he she wouldn't have to worry about um so, uh, yeah, the moose had arranged the clouds. The princess is uh, very good on the party. No, so the moose had arranged... Where is that stated there about the... Um, the old bear was there with his claws sharp, as well as the big frog. The bear invited her to ride his back, promising no wolf would hurry her path. And then animals led her to to a fairy glen. A buffet of seafood. So the pelicans serve the food. So that could be um, the final one. I guess. Yay! Apparently it worked. I'm a genius. I did it even did it in one try. Whoa, what the And boom. We're in. Wait. This doesn't really look like a grown woman bio climate activist woman. I'm just grasping for straws. It's relaxing though. So many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. A win? You speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not going to let me forget that? <laughs> well, you shouldn't. Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? That's a good point. Hmm. A photo. She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. One of those? Wait, where is... Oh, there. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Ugh. They used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. Okay. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this. As if she's still here. It's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? Looks like you're probably one of the people who made it happen. So I could understand why things went the way they were. 
Um, collectible. The Wise Princess. He's friends with all the animals in the forest and has a kind of generous... Why didn't I hear anything? That's weird. <clears throat> Normally they speak it. Hmm. hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? <laughs> no wonder Miriam liked it. I have the feeling that she's a bit harsh on uh, on Marianne. Straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. I have a feeling it's here. Yep. It's here! Let's leave it for now. I uh, want to see what's there first. She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? Oh, this explains a lot. We're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. Hmm. So basically because she was way too overboard on environment and not having any help uh, in electricity, uh, technical things, and uh, stuff like uh, medication. Uh, she basically didn't take All this place needs is a quick clean, and it'll be ready to go. <sighs> if only. Uh, sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. I can understand. I can't. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, what, what it's uh, like how they. Um, how Tyler uh, crossed out some letters saying cool plan 2003 2004. <laughs> nice. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Wait. Oh, jeez. That's not good. What, what, what way did she go? At first I saw the book raising a ch transgender Tyler. kid, but then I saw the other brochure. Tyler. What? Look. Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad at I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Damn. That's... Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Yeah. I can understand that. Holy shit. When you thought she was, like, trying to kill you, 
and then she wasn't. She probably had her own issues trying to understand what was going on because she was also religious. Which and extremely in the the um, in the roles of, of what nor what she thought was normal for females to do, like sewing and doing the house. Damn. This must be hard on them. Are you really, really sure? Who are you? Oh, wait. I am. Do it. Oh. This is... Okay. Uh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Well, that doesn't look... Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. Uh... She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> understand that you would think as a child that she would be trying chasing you with a gun <laughs> oh my god I would you chase I mean the mother saw directly that she was wrong but as a child you wouldn't know that you wouldn't see that damn I would love to know what glad happened glad we found after your that. diary me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. It's not that that easy for a parent, I guess. Especially not in her situation. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Yep. I would probably guess that... No. Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. That's what I guess. Which... She wasn't trying. She never... It doesn't make sense. I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. 
But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean sure. other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. That's, I think that's we'd way be better more behind off it. if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. That's what you I think. They pretend like that night never happened. That's what you think. Nobody is saying that that's true. Um, I'm not gonna do the what about Tessa? Harm. She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. Hmm. But we need to go by the store anyway to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. Um... Why rush the house soon? So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. True. <sighs> well... It would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. That's a good idea. Um, is there something wrong? You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. I'm pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Yeah, that book changed everything. And then we found the book and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... No, you graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. I think that's probably It's not better. that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Yeah, I'm not gonna Look, shove it on the UI. I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells... Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. <laughs> I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Good conversation. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Oh. That conclusion was correct. And nice. It's been Great. a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. Mm. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. That's a good name. So, oh wow. Do I need to skip back? Okay. Mom and Ellison argued again. At least I'm not the only one one mom is screaming at now. 
Mom almost seemed jealous we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Ellie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked to join the hockey team. Like it's wrong for me to play a boy sport. I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of my one of the goblins be a boy goblin? <clears throat> Saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great, but Mom found out we watched it and got so mad. She said it. She said it glory, glory, glorified war. Zoom zoom. Saturday, 5th February 2005. Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to do? Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to do? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to... Alison to and told me again that I was that it was my fault mom got angry at us. She is a, such a suck up. Mom's barely said anything to us in, the f in a few days. Alice said she saw her throwing away pages from the Book of Goblins. 3-0301-2005 Do this. Do that. I'm sick of her voice. And I'm sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie, the Goblin. Holy shit. Damn. They really had a, a nice relationship together, but... If you squint... You could almost forget Tello's Crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. Are you ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, <laughs> and every day will be asshole free. That might be asking a lot. True. The whole world is filled with assholes. So. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. I mean, I'm an asshole at times. <laughs> We were in our own world most of the time. The lake wasn't just a lake. It was Moon Hag's lair, and the mountain was an ice troll. True. Plus, you get used to anything if you see it every day. Not always. Looks I think so I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. <laughs> Could be a ranger. Already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. Nice ring. Get from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. <laughs> <sighs> all right. I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't going to say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Nice. Seems we got a trespasser. Uh, what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Wait, wait. Your wait. property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Uh, Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? <laughs> Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, I guess I heard about all that, but I never... 
You look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. Oh well. <laughs> um, let's just do it. Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. You gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Well, come on. Oh, well, that's kids keep hard. changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. Easy. No use so, no what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just... You know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Wow. Okay, that's... Didn't you used to help Marianne with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. Hmm. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, <laughs> selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. True. I'm not gonna make any Not all. Enemies. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? Oh, well, that's going too far. What Tyler means is a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Yeah. This place has gotta be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones too? Probably. Um, oh, damn. I, I don't really agree with these two. Like, we should go fine. He's not a bad guy, and he's hammered. I don't see him as being drunk. And were you too close? I'll do this. I'm gonna make it weird. How well did you know her? <sighs> Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Hmm. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. Now, that's a way to close the thing, and if you need to go, that's fine. I do want to know what the puzzle on the door is, by the way. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah you two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? <laughs> you ever solve it? Yep. Just now. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, 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 so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. Okay, well, I think we should go. 
We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? I think so. Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. Then I wonder... Oh, okay, no. No, I don't want to say he's hammered. We should get going. Because I don't think he is. I think he's... Get out of him. The way he talked is... He's not, not really wasted. Come on. He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Hmm. I don't really dislike Sam. Well, he's just a nice guy. We've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit. So. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all got to get going. Oh. Uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to do's on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything That's at all. That's nice. You hear? That's nice. I think he loved her. Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm, this place... It meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like... It was a part of her. And, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Okay. Ah, he's a nice guy. Hey, so he's trying, just we trying really to do, do have a lot to do. Let's go. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. First she said she you could go ahead and she had to do something and now you sent her out. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Signs are showing that she wasn't the psycho he thinks he is, or she was. I, I do believe that the mother, there's much more behind that story than uh, what he has seen or thinks he has seen. There's so much more goes into stuff like this than just... I, I just can't believe that she would go on a killing spree just to get rid of him, <coughs> her, back then. And damn, this is a story-driven game. <laughs> I've hardly done anything this, this uh, whole entire session. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? Fjord. <laughs> I'm ready to talk to Tessa. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> they had to pick a name for a car. They... <laughs> <laughs> they, they did for Just <laughs> try to keep in mind that your nice. memory of her is 10 years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. Well, your sister did, and you didn't So I'm let guessing her this in. is Michael? Oh, wait, I'm walking as her? Nice. Well, I think that's, uh... That's it. I'm, uh... The objective is to introduce Michael to Tyler. And, um, yeah. I think I'll leave it here. A uh, bit over time, but probably not uh, not that bad. Yeah, it's a it's a really nice game. The story is getting interesting. Already uh, a lot of layers to dissect here uh, between Tyler and Allison and her mother and their mother. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. I really uh, 
looking forward to where this is going. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you for tuning in to this part. I uh, hope you guys will be there in the next uh, next episode of Tell Me Why. Um, I guess that I know now why the story is called Tell Me Why. It's probably has something to do with the mother. Who knows? Anyway, uh, follow me on social if you want to know when I'm going live or when you missed something. You'll see it there. Fo use the subscription here on YouTube and, of course, on Twitch and everything. Go check me out. All the links will be in the description. And see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.